All right, here we have a little uh, Briggs and Stratton five horse. Yeah, if I can get the camera to work. It's a Briggs and Stratton five hill horse on a, looks like a homemade log splitter. I'm guessing it's homemade. Anyway, we put some gas in it and we pulled it over and it's popping back through the carburetor in very little, little to no compression. So we're gonna pull the head off real quick and see if it's got a stuck valve or burnt valve or just what exactly is going on. So I'm gonna set you up over here on the parts washer and we'll get started. head off of here. You have to be careful trying not to tear the head gasket. Sometimes it'll come off of that doing it, sometimes it won't. Head gasket is reusable. Got a lot of carbon on the spark plug. Right, let's see what the valves are doing. You see that? <sighs> we got one valve stuck open. So we'll pull this around. The exhaust valve is up, and then we will lube that. We get some lube right quick, and then we'll lube that valve, and then uh, see if we can break it free. This is a place where doing a actual head job would probably be a good thing to do. Do a little lube to that one too. Kind of like on the little garden tractor, if you saw it. Um, we ended up having to uh, take the valves out and actually seat them or re relap them. This right here, get the camera backed out where you can see. You don't want to hit this valve very hard. And I actually recommend using a piece of wood to do this, but you're gonna just gently tap it down like that. And then we will turn it back over. It should open up. And we'll see if we can Push it down and run all through this process all over again. You see that it started to go down on its own. through this process till it's actually lubed up and actually working. It's actually working, Dad. You didn't do anything to it? Yeah, I, uh, I sprayed PB Blaster and then whacked it with a hammer. Oh. <laughs> it has a lot of carbon in here. Probably. I 
probably ought to actually clean this. Uh, let me pull this out and let's check that spark plug it had a lot of carbon on it that's a spark plug grinch we can take out big spark plugs <laughs> yeah be careful or somebody will think that I'm trying to be a another bass grip garage uh, we're not that good <laughs> I have no idea what that carburetor's like. If it's clean or nasty. Pretty bad. You sure it was sparking? I don't know, that's what I said. Let's pull the plug out and check it. I don't know if I have. I'll go look at the cart here in a minute. I may have a new plug, I don't know. Yeah. I see a spark. Is that gap too small? Seems awful little to me. No, that's about right. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a Briggs and Stratton. It's the bridge to cross there. Well, let's... And I got my cleaning out knife in the pocket, I think. Let me go back here and see if there's a new plug. It's been leaking a little water in. It's still blowing out like that valve may not be shut completely. Probably. Uh -oh. That's fine.
thing actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually running out of idle. I'd say I need to clean this intake up here a little bit, put a new air cleaner in it, change the oil. Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Grandpa, for a freebie? Ooh, that's the best freebie I've had in a long time. <laughs> I'd say so. But I'd like to thank my buddy Rich. Um, he's gave us so much stuff <laughs> over the years. But he came up with a load of stuff. Um, we've got a little Onan generator over here in the background. I got it running. It needs a starter. And then we had this thing. And then something I'm excited for is this mortar mixer. Not that I'm wanting to lay rock or mud, but on our cabins, this thing here will be a it'll be a lifesaver. Uh, my shoulders just aren't getting any better, and mixing it in the wheelbarrow is not much fun. So we actually had this freed up. Oh, my shoulders! My shoulders aren't going to do it. But this motor is a. Uh, She's locked. So. So we'll be, uh, we'll be trying to free it up. A little too tall, isn't it? Yeah, for green oil. Oh. <laughs> we got an oil pan here? There was one here. I think it'll go in it. That oil wrench was over here somewhere. After we put the spark plug in. Yeah, it's an oil wrench now. So we need two oil wrenches. <laughs> looking stuff had a little accident by and by we'll get we'll get by it first time there it comes it's like real oil there did it yep it had a little bit of that gray crap came out with it and then it's Good or you go more? I'd dump another slug through it just to. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Might have to choke it. Clean it up and paint it and make it actually work. That's true. 
Okay.